Hey guys, what's going on? It's I Touch Stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to root this baby right here, the Nook Color. Now I know I've been putting out a couple root videos on some Android uh, e-readers. Um, that's because I'm, I'm fairly interested in them right now, so uh, if you guys like these videos, uh, then like leave these videos a thumbs up. But I'll be getting back to my normal stuff in a little bit. Uh, but I picked this guy up for 135 pre-owned, so pretty good deal if you want a 7-inch uh, tablet that runs full Android. I mean, right now it runs this this crappy Nook OS right here. So just power on. There we go. And you can see it's, it's really simple and plain, just really meant for reading only. So if you want to have access um, to everything inside this, the Android that runs this thing, I'll show you how to do it right now. So this video is going to show you how to root and install Cyanogen Mod 7 at the very same time. Um, first thing you want to do is in this little back area over here, make sure you remove any SD card that is in there, uh, and then close this thing back up, and we want to go ahead and power down the Nook. Now, uh, with that SD card, we want to have uh, an SD card adapter, such as this one, which I'll show you right here. It looks like this uh, micro SD adapter. Uh, I'll just focus in on this if I can. Alright, whatever. Uh, and your little micro SD card goes into here, and if your computer has an SD card reader, that'll plop into your computer's uh, SD card reader. If not, you can also use a micro SD to USB like this. It goes in the bottom over here. You can pick these up on eBay. They're fairly cheap. Um, or if your computer somehow has a micro SD card reader, you can also use that. So whatever micro SD card you had in there, or if you have an extra one, it's got to be one gig or more. If you're using one gig, uh, then you won't be able to make ROM backups on it because uh, we're going to be flashing uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery to this, which takes up a lot of space. Um, but it can be any file size, one gig or above. I recommend two gigs at least, which is this one right here. Um, we're going to be erasing everything on it, so as soon as you put it into your micro SD card adapter and plug it into your computer, you should see something pop up in a moment. It should give you the name of your SD card. If not, go to Finder. Uh, or just try unplugging it and plugging it in again. And this is a pretty cheap adapter, so sometimes it doesn't always work. There we go, SD. And if we open it up, I have nothing on it. It's completely formatted. But if you did have something on it, you want to go ahead and move it to your desktop um, so that you have everything backed up because we're going to be erasing everything. Next step is you want to go ahead into Firefox and you're going to become you're going to come to this website right here with a bunch of download links. Um, and right here, these original download links, these don't seem to work for me. They're multi-upload links, and uh, I think they're all broken. But they do have some nice Dropbox links down below. So what you want to do is over here at the very end of it, you want to find your SD card file size. Um, you can either use Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp. Twerp is full touchscreen. Clockwork Mod Recovery uses the volume rockers. Uh, volume rocker buttons to navigate around the recovery, uh, while Twerp is a lot more, I guess, user friendly. Uh, I like using Clockwork Mod, so this is what this tutorial is going to do, and it only it supports all the way up to 16 gig um, if you're using Clockwork. So find your supported uh, file card size. Mine's two gigs. Click on it. Should open up a page Dropbox, and it should bring up this page right here. Save it. It's a RAR file. Uh, again, we're doing this on a Mac, so you're going to need an application that can unzip RARs. Um, and it's only 5.3 megabytes. It downloads in literally a second if you have a good internet connection. Uh, so once that's on your desktop, you want to go to the second link. Um, it's basically how to install Cyanogen Mod 7.1. We're using 7.1 because uh, I know a lot of people get confused, and when they look it up, uh, they try to install Cyanogen Mod 7, but that's really or 7.0.3. It's an old version, and when you and when you flash it, uh, the touchscreen doesn't work on the Nook Color. So here, you just want to click on the first link. It'll bring you here. Click Download Update CM 7.1 Encore Sign .zip. Um, and then you also want to click here to install Google Apps. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit and click on this link, it's broken. Uh, so use the top one over here um, and just save that. It's 6.1 megabytes. So once all of those are on your desktop, you can exit out of Firefox, whatever web browser you, you use. And we want to go ahead and work on these files. So right click on it actually, open with, and then uh, if you have ZipEgg, you can use ZipEgg. 
I like to use ZipEgg. Um, and then we can go ahead and choose where we want to save it. It's already set to desktop. Click on the file and just extract. All right, so it successfully extracted this to the desktop. You should see a new thing over here. It says 2 gigabyte clockwork 3.2.0.1. Uh, you can get rid of this RAR file now, just drag it down to the trash. And you want to go ahead, double click to open this up, and drag this image file to the desktop. Next thing we want to do is just make this easier on ourselves. Hit enter and just name it CWM. Uh, and then these two files we can just move off to the side for now. You can also delete this folder right here. Next step, we want to open up terminal. You can go to spotlight, type in terminal hit enter and just wait for that to pop up alright so it says localhost Kieran which is my username and then a dollar sign so we're in that I just have a little text edit file here for a bunch of code uh, scripts that we need to run in terminal just so I don't forget uh, the first one these can all be found in the description down below if you want to copy and paste them uh, first one is diskutil.list and this will bring up all of the disks that are currently connected to your computer uh, so disk 0 is my actual hard drive uh, it's a 250 gig hard drive and disk 1 is uh, the little micro SD card in the SD card adapter so uh, if it's a different disk number make sure you have that number down because we don't want to erase anything else you may have plugged into your computer okay so once you've identified uh, which disk is right for you you want to go ahead enter in the second line of code paste it um, if it gives you an error that just means that uh, you pasted the whole thing along with the space so it immediately entered uh, so make sure you get it right down to the last character so you can edit it and where it says disk number uh, you want to replace that with the number one or whatever disk uh, that you're going to be unwriting so this is going to unmount the disk so that we can flash uh, the clockwork mod recovery to it there we go unmount of all volumes on disk one was successful next step is you want to go ahead and copy this right here um, before I recommend you putting into text editor or something like that and just quickly where it says username type in the username on your computer and then if it's in a directory other than the desktop or if it's named something other than cwm.img fix those uh, and also the disk number at the end you want to make sure it's whatever disk number that you have so this process right here as soon as you run it you might want to go ahead and make yourself a sandwich something like that because uh, it's going to take about 13 minutes uh, the first time I did it, it took 13 minutes um, and for some people it can take anywhere from 13 to an hour to finish because this is a 1.89 gig file that has to write to your SD card um, so just give it some time uh, and uh, when it's all done, I'll come back to you guys. Alright guys, so I'm back, uh, and as you can see here, it took 1,651 seconds. That's about 27 minutes, um, and I know I said before it took me 13 minutes the first time. That's if you're using a 1 gigabyte uh, SD card, which I did the first time. So uh, just estimate about 1 gigabyte is 13 minutes, 2 gigabytes about 27, so it's about almost double the time. Uh, and just keep doing that from there if you want to estimate the amount of time it'll take for your particular SD card. Uh, so once that's done, we can go ahead exit out of terminal because uh, it has been officially flashed to our SD card. Uh, and you'll notice here that um, it's no longer here your SD card. So what you want to do, you want to go ahead unplug it from your computer, the SD card adapter, so right here, and then just plug it back in. And you should notice it should have a different name now should say boot and here we have some different files so here is uboot.bin, uimage, uramdisk and mlo uh, so if you see this this is a good sign now you have made an official uh, clockwork mod recovery bootable SD card so from here all you want to do is just go ahead drag update cm uh, cyanogenmod 7.1 into here 105 megabytes so give it a little bit Next step is just go ahead and drag gapps in 6.4 megabytes. It's all done. Go ahead and eject boot. And then we can go ahead and plop out the little SD card. And we can go ahead and move back to the Nook color. So at the Nook color, which should be powered off completely, you want to go ahead and open this little slot in the back. It's a little hard to do this on ca camera. You want to put your SD card in there. There we go. Almost in there. 
All right, got it. And then close up the little the little hatch. And then we want to press the power button on the left hand left hand side. And when it boots up, you should see two skulls with crossbones and a loading screen. I'll bring this into focus. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that. And it should go ahead and bring up Clockwork Mod Recovery. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have a bunch of options. Reboot system now, apply update from SD card, wipe data, slash factory reset. The list goes on and on. Uh, to use this, to scroll up, you use the volume up button. To scroll down, you use the volume down button. Uh, and to select, you press the little nook home button. Uh, so first thing we want to do is scroll down and click install zip from SD card and then scroll down again choose zip from SD card and then we want to choose the CM7. Click yes. Open the package. It should just take a little bit and I'll come back to you when it's done. Alright, uh, so once it's done installing, you can see install from SD card complete. We want to go ahead, scroll down, choose zip from SD card and select the Google Apps and just go ahead and run that. Alright, so the next step is to go ahead and press the power button just once to go back a menu, and then we want to scroll down to mounts and storage, click on that, and we want to go ahead and format the cache. After that's all done, you just want to go ahead and press the power button again to go back one menu, and scroll down to advance, click enter, or the nook button, and click wipe Dalvik cache. It took a little while to pop up, but then click yes, and Dalvik cache wiped. Then just go ahead on the back of this device. You want to go ahead, remove the bootable SD card from the little slot here. Fell out. All right, it's good enough. And once that's removed, we can go ahead, click the Nook Color button on Reboot Recovery. Um, and so now that the little CM uh, CWM recovery is no longer there. It'll boot right up into Cyanogen mod. Alright, so you should boot up into the Welcome to the Nook Color screen and just follow the on screen instructions to uh, set up the CM7. So, guys, there's been iTouch stuff here that's both the zero. Hope you like this video. If you want to see more, check out my channel um, and please subscribe. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.